Oh, the the wine was represented as his as blood, his blood, and blood. Bread was bread represented as, as his body. body. We have communion in this church the second week of every month. Communion is when you're receiving the bread, so the body and the blood of Christ. And uh, yes, we, we have sometimes when we have bread and we yeah. have juice instead of wine. Yeah, we, you know, you know, stuff. Do you know what we um, He mentioned that the wine would be his blood and the bread would be his skin. Jesus, before he died, um, he had bread and wine and he um, shared them out. And for the wine, he said, This is my blood. And the disciples, they said, This is not really your blood. And, and the bread, he said, This is my um, body. And they were like, It's not your body. And, um, and that's why um, they, it was actually wine and bread that um, he pretended that was his skin and his blood. You get, the, you get to eat the body of, the, of Christ and you get to drink the blood of Christ. Um, when you've taken your communion, that's when you're able to drink and eat them. Like the, I like the communion because you get to eat the bread and, the, and you get to drink the wine. <coughs> But you, but when you're 13, you can and over, you can have the bread and wine. But when you're, yeah, yeah, when you're um, young and you're under 13, you can't have it. But but the but they do the cross sign to to make you to make to say that you that to make your day be happy and nothing wrong with happen to you. We have the bread and wine um, oh, because um, it's for the last the, last the last supper that Jesus had. He said take this bread as my body and take this wine as my blood. And we sometimes um, do like a mini like meal of the last meal of Jesus.